Hello everyone, Android Man, and welcome back to Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. Last time, we defeated Levana's Infernape and befriended Heatran and got ourselves the Redstone. And now this time, we're going to partner ourselves up with Mime Jr. and get some quests done. And if we remember what the Psychic move does, it does stun the Pokemon, so it will be helpful for us. So I'll meet you at the first quest. Okay, so here's our first quest. I can't believe it. How could I make this mistake? All the times I've moved, I've always had some Driftblum help me. I've gotten them to do all the heavy lifting and moving. But this time, I forgot about asking them. How absent-minded of me. Saying you're absent-minded doesn't help us any. Please, could you return with some Driftblum? Yes. I'm indebted to you. What we need are Driftblum. Three should do. Okay, so there's a few that we can easily get. I'll be right back with them. So to save you time, you can either go to the Chroma Ruins or the Boil Inn just to get these Driftblum. What I recommend is going to the Chroma Ruins since Boil Inn will hurt you a lot more. Plus, the Chroma Ruins is more of a straight path, and you can easily get out of there easily. So, let's report these in. Ah, these are fine specimens of Driftblum. You've been wonderful help. We can move just like we planned. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. So we're going to get like some sort of ghost or flying defense, right? So let's see what we get. Yada yada yada. It is... Ooh, power plus! More power to me. So more or less our styler is up by two more points, so that's nice. And I'll meet you at the next quest. Okay, there we go. So, in the Elder's house, there is our next quest, a fisherman. Hi, do you remember me? I'm the hungry, hungry dim sun, abandoned alone in the hidden harbor. Oh, you become a fisherman. Yeah, that's me. I've since become a fishing guide here. I make an honest work out of it, too. I owe it to you and that young lady for making me turn my life around. But I'm facing a little problem now. The volcano's been more active lately. It's caused two walls of fire to sprung up in the cave's corridors. It's keeping me from my out-of-the-way fishing spot way deep in Boyle Volcano. Do you know my fish secret fishing spot? It's actually the Hidden Harbor. Turns out that place is an excellent fishing spot. Can you put out those walls of fire for me in the, in the special way you rangers do? Uh, sure! You really will? The walls of fire block the way to the Hidden Harbor. There's no possible way that you're not noticing them. <sighs> We're going to need some Gastrodons, or those Papelopers, which are a lot more inside the cave. So we're going to need a Torkoal, Gastrodons. So let's start off by capturing ourselves a Torkoal. Which, you're going to do that. Got ourselves a Torkoal. So then we can surf onto our lava. And basically, since we're just capturing the Gastrodons and Torkoals, I'll meet you at the Hidden Outpost. So, two Papelopers later. Yeah, this fire needs soak three. Papelopers, please get rid of this fire path. Thing is, I don't think that person actually exclaimed on how many much fire paths we need to get rid of. 
Uh, hopefully, it's only one more. Okay, good. It's only one more. So, I might as well explore this. I'll be back with the drift below. And here's our second firewall. Also, proof of concept. This fire does not hurt you, no matter how far you walk into it. So, how about we just get this thing out of our way? And thankfully, the propellers were actually nearby where the volcano cave was, so that was at least nice to at least not have to go all the way through that. And we'll get back to our former fishing guide. Okay, so we got your firewalls out of the way. Thank you very much. This will make tourists happy again, and I'm certain of that. The question is, what do you fish in a volcano? The Styler is receiving mail. Let's see. Since it was a fire mission, I'm going to take a guess. Water defense or fire defense? Or whatever defense that this guy gave us the last time. Ooh, fire defense! Now we're more resistant to fire attacks. That will be useful later. I'll meet you at the next quest. So our next quest here is actually inside a volcano cave. Let's see what you want. Speaking of saunas, I... Oh, right. I shouldn't just be just chit-chatting with you. It's hard to believe, but I saw a Snover in Volcano Cave. That Pokemon has no right being in a place this hot. For that Snover, this place is a lot worse than a sauna. I'd call it a barbecue, even. This is no time to be making flippant remarks. Please, go help that little Snover. Uh, yes, we'll go help the Snover. I spot a sn Snover in the cave toward the east side. I couldn't reach it on foot, but you have other ways of getting around, right? Uh, that was just a cheap way to put an explorer just for us to go traveling back through this cave? Are you kidding me? First off, where do I... I'm done complaining now. I mean, all I have to do is just capture this Torkoal. Which we have been doing a lot lately. And to be honest, I really wish that they did connect these two caves and hid some secret pathways back and forth that since we do have a Torkoal, it would allow us to go back and forth. But oh well. Let's just get around here and just nicely go onto lava. Yeah, for example, this, it brings us back to this part of the volcano cave. And it brings us up here. So. Let's dodge the Charmeleon and rescue the Snover! So what's an ice type doing in this area? Wouldn't it be more better in Hia Valley? Especially since there's a bomb of snow in Hia Valley? Ice crystal, just be very careful around it, and... Caught the Snover! Snover, it attacks by launching leaves and hurling hunks of ice. It's part of the ice group. Pokey Assist, ice. And yep, this is another partner Pokemon. You're really lucky, little Snover. That ranger there saved your life. <laughs> Snover's so happy now. Unfortunately, mine junior still has to go through a mission first, so we'll have to wait on Snover, just like Piplup. Uh, no. 
Don't worry, we'll get to use you later, Snover. Hopefully. I'll meet you at the next quest. Okay, so here's our next quest. Ranger, we need your help. The dome hut on the west side of Shiver Camp has a problem. A lump of ice formed in front of its door. It's impossible to open it. Can you go open the, the door for us? Uh, sure. Thank you. I'm glad you agreed. We have accepted a quest, which requires us to open a dome from one of their huts. And I have a theory with these pile of swines, but I would need to know what we need first, because chances are we either might need a Ninetales or a Fire-type Pokemon. And I'm correct about the Fire-type Pokemon, so I'll be right back with a Fire-type Pokemon. One camera up later. Could you burn that for us, please, camera up? I feel like Ninetales gets a little too much love, so we, I decided to get the camera up instead. Thanks, camera up. See you later. And let's report back to our client. See you there. Okay, we got to that person now. You did exactly as I hoped. That's what makes you a ranger. So, I'm gonna assume ice defense since we had to get rid of an ice block. Styler is receiving mail, rhythm me calling, yada yada yada. It's normal defense. I mean, that was a normal quest that we did. And. Yeah, if we ever encounter a normal Pokemon, we also have increased defense against that Pokemon now. I'll meet you at our next quest, or if we don't have one, at the Ranger Union. Wow, there's still a lot of people uh, out here. Let's get inside. Another job well done, dear. So, the red gem was indeed inside Boyle Volcano. Bravo, Darian! Well done! Now, Chairperson Irma, if you do the usual honors, certainly. Darian, the magma must have been unbearably hot, yet you preserved and succeeded in the face of such adversity. Darian, you are now certified to Ranger Rank 7. We get a rank up! We're promoted to Rank 7, and I think we already have all the Pokemon typings. Yep, so we can now have six Pokemon, not including our partner Pokemon. You must be tired today. I'm sure tomorrow will be another busy day. You should rest now. The next day. They didn't really give me an option on that one. Good morning, dear. I trust you slept well. We received word from Keith last night. He confirmed there was folklore about the tears of princes in the Haruba Desert. He also confirmed those small stones came from a large yellow crystal. The crystal being, of course, the yellow gem. However, the yellow gem is said to be concealed deep inside Hippowdon Temple. Keith reports it will take him some time to reach the crystal. For the time being, let's set the red gem in our machine. I shall be waiting on the rooftop. Well, let's see what effects are... Well, next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, we'll see what the effects of the red gem has, and then we'll figure out how Keith is going to get the yellow gem. <laughs>